Today we're going to look at um, using the Frankfurt Arsenal bullet puller. It will take apart a bullet safely. Uh, this particular one, the primer was hit by the firing pin, but the bullet failed to go off. So we're going to pull this apart and try to figure out why it didn't uh, go bang. So I am using this bullet puller. Uh, and the way it works is there's a little rubber o-ring around a uh, washer that bullet fits inside of there thusly put it on top of my bullet puller and screw on the cap kinda snug there's no chance that even though this is a hammer nothing's gonna come in contact with that primer so it can accidentally go off. So instructions read to hit to strike a hit on a piece of wood. Don't do this on concrete. This can shatter. Uh, so I'm gonna hit strike this three times. Once it makes that little rattling noise, you know that the uh, bullet came out of there. And we're gonna dump the bullet head and the excess powder into a container here's the bullet here's the uh, what remains of the uh, case and I can see that the primer indeed is banged off and I'm probably going to have to gently this could be a a live primer still just with a dimple in there so I have to be careful but uh, everybody that reloads should get this bullet puller uh, so they can take apart some of their mistakes uh, sometimes you overly uh, press a bullet so it's too short to be safely fired and other times like this one the primer was struck but it, the bullet just for whatever reason would not go bang so we're going to uh, deprime this and find out what what's going on inside there. But anyway, that's how you use a bullet puller. This is Mark with Aardvark Reloading.com.